The Kosovo national football team Albanian, e te Kosovs, Serbian, Futbolska Reprezentasija Kosova Futbolska Reprezentasija Kosova represents Kosovo in international men's football. It is controlled by the Football Federation of Kosovo, the governing body for football in Kosovo. History Pre-independence Yugoslavian era Yugoslav squads at international competitions often included players from Kosovo, such as Fadil Vokri and Steven Stojanovic. Three other footballers from Kosovo, Farudin Jasufi, Militan Soskic and Vladimir Durkovic, were part of the Yugoslav team that won the gold medal at the 1960 Summer Olympics and silver medal at the 1960 European Nations Cup. <laughs> After breakup of Yugoslavia The first unofficial Kosovo national team was formed following the breakup of Yugoslavia and has played a number of friendly matches. On 14 February 1993, the first one was against Albania and the match ended with a 1-3 away defeat and the starting lineup of that match was Ahmet Baselica, Ardian Kozniku, Bartol Seferi, Fadil Barisha, Ghani Lapashtika, Genc Hoja, Isa Sadriu, Kushtram Munishi, Maharim Sahiti, Sadullah Ajeti and Saladin Gerlini. After Kosovo War On 7 September 2002, Kosovo for first time after the Kosovo War played a friendly match against Albania and the match ended with a 0-1 home minimal defeat and the starting lineup of that match was Amit Baselica, Ardian Kozniku, Arsam Abazi, Beznik Kalari, Fadil Ademi, Farouk Stadova, Ismet Munishi, Mehmet Dragusha, Sunaj Keki, Xhevdet Lumnika and Zenin Salimi. One of the most important international matches was a 1-0 win over Saudi Arabia played on 15 June 2007. It was the first time that Kosovo played against a team that has taken part in the FIFA World Cup and the winning goal was scored by Christian Nushi from the penalty kick on the 84th minute. On the 22nd of April 2006, Kosovo takes the first biggest win against Monaco and the match ended 7-1 and this record continues to be unbroken, today to this day. After independence Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> First match On the 17th of February 2010 for first time since the declaration of independence Kosovo played a friendly match against Albania and the match ended with a 2 to 3 home defeat the starting lineup of that match was Anel Raskic, Dukajin Gashi, Enis Zabergnya, Fisnik Papuci, Ilir Nalbani, Kushtram Mushika, Liradon Kakaj, Robert Yeraj, Shpetam Hassani and Yll Hoja. This match had a humanitarian character, because the profits gathered from this meeting will go to those affected by floods in Shkoder. <laughs> Efforts for internationalization on 6 May 2008, after the declaration of independence from Serbia, Kosovo applied for FIFA membership. On 24 October 2008, Kosovo's application was discussed at the FIFA Congress in Zurich, when Kosovo was rejected membership in FIFA and could not play friendly matches as it was deemed it did not comply with Article 10 of the FIFA statutes, that only an independent state recognized by the international community may be admitted into FIFA. On the 22nd of May 2012, FIFA reverted that decision stating that Kosovo may play other countries in international friendlies according to Article 79 of the FIFA statutes. In September 2012, Albania international Lorik Kena, along with Swiss internationals Granit Xhaka, Balone Barami, and Jerdan Shakiri, all of them with Kosovo Albanian origin, wrote a declaration to FIFA President Sepp Blatter, asking him to allow the Kosovo national team to be allowed to play friendly matches. 
The declaration was also signed by eight other Albanian footballers, hailing from Kosovo as Ahmed Januzi, Alban Meha, Armand Dalku, Buram Kukeli, Itrit Barisha, Fatmir Bajramaj, Lorik Kena, Mergam Mavraj and Samir Ujkani. In May 2012, in a meeting held, FIFA decided to allow friendly matches to be played a decision it later revoked following a protest issued by Football Association of Serbia. Some players, especially Kosovo Serbs as Milan Bizvak and Milos Krasic, continued to play for the Serbia. A new meeting was held at FIFA, on 27 and 28 September in which the Kosovo issue was again planned to be discussed, which was then postponed until December. Topic. Permitting by FIFA to play friendlies On 13 January 2014, the national team was given permission by FIFA to play against FIFA member associations in international friendlies, with the notable exception of representative teams of countries of the former Yugoslavia. Even club teams would be allowed to play friendlies after a FIFA emergency committee meeting. However, it was stipulated that clubs and representative teams of the Football Federation of Kosovo may not display national symbols as flags, emblems, etc. or play national anthems. The go-ahead was given after meetings between the Football Association of Serbia and Sep Blatter. On 6 February 2013, FIFA gave the permission to play international friendly games against other member associations, on 5 March 2014, following FIFA's ruling. Kosovo played its first international friendly against Haiti and the match ended in a 0-0 draw. Before the match, some players of Kosovo posed with guns at a shooting range, causing a stir in Serbia. On the eve of the match, supporters of Kosovo burned the flag of Serbia. This incident prompted the Football Association of Serbia to request that FIFA revoke Kosovo's right to play international friendlies. After the match against Haiti, five more games were held with Turkey, Senegal, Oman, Equatorial Guinea, and in the end with Albania. The first win in these friendlies was against Oman with a 1 0 home minimal win, while the biggest defeat that was simultaneously also the first defeat was a 1 6 home defeat against Turkey that was playing with players that were the majority from Turkish Championship. Topic. Membership in UEFA and FIFA In September 2015 at an UEFA Executive Committee meeting in Malta was approved the request from the Federation to the admission in UEFA to the next Ordinary Congress to be held in Budapest. On 3 May 2016, at the Ordinary Congress. Kosovo were accepted into UEFA after members voted 28 to 24 in favor of Kosovo. On the 13th of May 2016, Kosovo was accepted in FIFA during their 66th Congress in Mexico with 141 votes in favor and 23 against. Topic: <laughs> Competitive record. Topic. FIFA World Cup On 9 June 2016. The UEFA Emergency Panel has decided that Kosovo will join Croatia, Finland, Iceland, Turkey and Ukraine in Group 1, also decided that Bosnia and Herzegovina and Serbia should not play against Kosovo for security reasons. On 5 September 2016, Kosovo made his debut on FIFA World Cup qualifications with a 1-1 away draw-in against Finland and the draw goal was scored by the newcomer Valon Barisha from the penalty kick on the 60th minute. UEFA European Championship UEFA Nations League On 24 January 2018, in Lausanne, it was decided that Kosovo should be part of League D in Group 3 of the 2018-19 UEFA Nations League, together with Azerbaijan, Faroe Islands and Malta. On 7 September 2018, Kosovo made his debut on UEFA Nations League with a 0-0 away draw-in against Azerbaijan. On 10 September 2018, Kosovo takes the first win in UEFA Nations League that was simultaneously also the first ever competitive win was a 2-0 home win against Faroe Islands. Non-FIFA tournament 
In 2005, Kosovo has so far only participated in one international tournament, participated in the KTFF 50th Anniversary Cup, held to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Cyprus Turkish Football Association, finishing second out of three. Kosovo lost against the host with result 1-0 and won against Sapmi with result 4-1. Topic. Fixtures and results For all past match results of the national team, see single season articles and the team's results page. Topic. 2018 Topic. 2019 Topic Players Topic Current Squad The following players have been called up for the 2018-19 UEFA Nations League matches against Malta and Azerbaijan, on 17 and 20 November 2018, all caps and goals as of 20 November 2018 after match against Azerbaijan. Topic. Recent call-ups The following players have been called up for the team within the last 12 months and are still available for selection. Notesing equals not part of the current squad due to injury. CANC equals the match Azerbaijan-Kosovo was cancelled, because that Azerbaijan and Kosovo will compete in the same group in the 2018-19 UEFA Nations League. U21 and U19 equals was called up from U21 and U19 squad equals topic personnel equals 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 topic current technical staff equals equals Topic Kit Suppliers The Kosovo kit has been mostly red and black before declaration of independence with few changes throughout the years and after the independence the kits are mostly blue and yellow. On 5 October 2016, Kosovo signed with Spanish sportswear company Kelmi to a four-year contract and was the first official kit suppliers of Kosovo after membership in UEFA and FIFA. On 16 June 2018, Kosovo signed with Swiss sportswear company 14 to a four-year contract and becomes the current kit suppliers of Kosovo. Stadiums As of of October 2018 Records Below are two lists of the top 11 players with the most caps and goals for Kosovo. Players in bold are still active at international level. Topic: <laughs> Most capped players as of the 10th of September 2018. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Top goal scores as of the 10th of September 2018. Topic: Head-to-head records against other countries. As of the 20th of November 2018, head-to-head -head records are included only matches from 2014 until now. Topic: See also. Men's under minus 21. Under 19. Under 17. Futsal Women's National Team Under 19 Notes